What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Bring you guys episode number 39 of Craftnet. We are finally back on the server, guys. If you guys didn't know, the server was actually shut down for the last couple days because apparently Ducky created some kind of crazy farm that just crashed the server, and the team behind the maintenance just could not get it back up to running in time. So, yeah, I kind of missed a couple uploads. I'm so sorry for that. It was out of my control, I promise you guys. But it does feel good to finally be back. So, if you guys could do me a favor, please drop a like on the video. It honestly does go a long, long way because the more likes we get on the videos the more the series grows the more it helps my channel thank you guys so much everybody that's been showing love so far and also if you guys are new please be sure to subscribe there's so many guys out there that watch the videos but don't subscribe because you either forget or for whatever reason please be sure to sub it's free to do you can always change your mind anyways today we are finally back on the craft night server feels really good the server is actually running a lot smoother than it once was before but um actually so i kind of did a lot of upgrades off camera the other day before the server actually crashed so as you guys can see if you come down to the animal section, we got literally every colored sheep in the game over here, okay? And we, we literally got from white, orange, purple, light blue, yellow, green, pink, gray. Literally every color is available right here, all 16 of them. And uh, this is really cool because one, I just love the way this farm looks. If you guys don't remember, this is actually an automatic sheep shearing farm. You can literally AFK and the sheep will literally get sheared all by themselves. But one thing I did not know about this farm, so when I built this thing, I used sea lanterns to cover pretty much some lighting all the way in the middle here. But what I didn't know is that you actually can't place redstone on top of sea lanterns. It actually does not make any form of observers or dispensers work so yeah i kind of just griefed myself i had no idea so i tried i tested out with cobblestone it works just fine but we're gonna replace this with uh smooth stone eventually but let me just show you guys what we got going on down here so if you guys follow me we got the storage collection area now this is like the most organized neatest looking area ever i love it it looks super clean but pretty much all i gotta do is just come down here open up every single chest and pretty much just collect every single color wool that i need it's really cool the only thing that's not completed about this farm is that I got to get mine carts and hoppers on each and every single farm, I guess, for every colored sheep. The issue is I don't have any iron. I have an automatic iron farm. It doesn't work. I'm going to have to completely remake it. For some reason, the villagers just don't seem to be working with it. I know Ducky also had some issues with his iron farm, so we're going to have to look into that later. But um, yeah, I'm actually about to go mining, maybe get some more iron and finally get this thing fully functioning. It really does suck that the server got shut down for the last couple days, but you know, feels good to be back. I'm really excited. I I've been like craving recording craft night all these days, man. When you can't play it, it makes you want to play it even more. So now we're back. Let's see. What do we need to go on our mining expedition? We basically need to get like three to four stacks of iron. Maybe we might find some diamonds along the way. Kaylee's going to also be joining me later on this episode. So that's going to be exciting. All right. I think we got everything we need to go on our mining expedition. We actually haven't gone mining in a long time. And it kind of feels good to do some mining on camera because usually I do it off camera. But you know what? We're going to switch it up today if you guys want to see me go mining for netherite though definitely drop a like on the video because i would love to go netherite mining next episode with kaylee hopefully we don't die in the process so i actually wanted to extend the mine out instead of mining in every single direction i think i'm only gonna mine to the left and right of this mine shaft because when you go strip mining you eventually make a lot of long tunnels and i don't really feel like running through every single tunnel so i'd rather just extend it and just go make more tunnels to the left and right hopefully this is the best way of mining in the game i'm not really too sure to be honest i actually do know a really cool unique mining trick but i'm gonna save that for another episode first of all how did this happen what's going on over here Oh, no way. No way. There's literally diamonds right in my mine shaft all this time and i had no idea Wait, am i using my fortune 3 pickaxe yes we are Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh my gosh. All right, we just got 13 diamonds. Well, that's amazing. Hey, we came here for iron. We ended up getting diamonds. Love to see it. Can't complain about that. So let's see here. Let's, uh, so we have three in between each one. Let's start, let's start a new tunnel over here. I think that might be the move. Yep. We're just gonna go straight down for as long as possible and hope that we run into some iron. I didn't even know this, but apparently you can actually make gold farms in the game too, in the nether. So that might be, have to be another project that I do in the future. There's so many farms that I still want to create on the server. Like I want to make a trident farm, a gold farm, a working iron farm would be nice. It's kind of crazy. I'm going mining right now and I've already found gold and diamond. I still haven't found iron. 
iron. It's always one. Oh, dude, dude, dude. You can't, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Like, bro, I can't make this up. I'm literally finding everything that's not iron right now. Come on, man. Look. Oh, there's iron. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, I'm actually complaining about finding diamonds right now. That's crazy. But I brought a nice little shulker box with me because whenever you have a fortune three pickaxe, you actually ended up getting a lot of coal. So that's going to be a pretty cool thing. Maybe we can uh, get a lot of materials while we're down here too. I kind of wish fortune three worked on gold and iron as well. I think it really should, man. Because bro, getting one piece of iron for every time you mine a block does not seem too worth it to me. We already got 21 diamonds out of this one trip already. That is crazy, man. Also, I need your guys' help real quick. All right. So I have my mining tunnel, right? But the thing that I don't really know about, so every tunnel is spaced out by like three blocks in between. So there's one, two, three, tunnel. One, two, three, tunnel. Should I space it out even more? Or is three pretty appropriate? Because I don't know. I mean, I already did find diamonds that I probably never would have found before. So maybe three is just the perfect amount. I don't know. You guys give me your tips. What is your best mining strategy, okay? Oh yeah, here we go. More iron. Keep giving me iron, please. The cool thing about the automatic sheep shearing farm is that I'm... Oh, dude, 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 dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, I gotta get trolled. Like, someone's trolling me at this point, bro. Like, how am I finding so many diamonds right now? Oh my god. Gosh. Oh my gosh, we have 39 diamonds. 39 diamonds already. Keep it coming, baby. Let's go. Kaylee's gonna think that I'm using cheats on the game, but hey, we ain't. But yeah, as I was saying, the cool thing about the sheep sharing farm is that I'm literally gonna have every colored wool in the game. And a lot of it too. So I'm thinking about maybe opening up another shop next episode. I'm not too sure. But if you guys have any cool builds or projects that I could do with all the multicolored wool, please let me know. Because I feel like there's so much that I can do, especially since I have every color. The only thing I won't really have though is every colored glass. I might have to make like a better flower farm because I did make one earlier, but it's only giving me two colors for some reason. And I want to get a bunch of glass too that's multicolored. So we're gonna have to try that out as well. We're probably gonna have to upgrade our storage area as well soon. I don't know. I might have to make like an auto item sorter, but that's like a mega project on its own. Don't know if I'm ready for that kind of a project just yet. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, we are on a diamond streak right now, man. This is wild. Like, this is actually wild, man. I have 50 diamonds. 50 diamonds in less than 10 minutes. Not even. I think I think I've only been mining for like eight minutes. I have more diamonds than iron right now. Like, you like you gotta be kidding me, man. Still not complaining though. But yeah, anyways, in the future, guys, you can definitely expect a lot more collabs with me, Kaylee Disc, and Stealthy Wolf. Because honestly, like while the server was down, we actually made like a practice server where I can actually teach disc and care how to play. They've actually learned a lot about the game while the server was down. So you guys will definitely expect a lot more collabs with all four of us playing together. You guys really seem to enjoy the videos where we're all just making jokes and having a great time together. So definitely expect a lot more. It's really going to be cool because now that they're living on the same island as us, we can do a lot more cool like group projects together. So if you guys have any cool mega build ideas that we can all do, please let us know. Bro, you know what would be a cool enchantment for a pickaxe? If like it auto smelts the material as you mine it. So like you don't have to put it in a blast furnace. Like imagine you mine iron iron ore and it gives you the ingot right when it's done that would be kind of cool how is that not an enchantment already i was literally just about to say in my head i'm about to find diamonds in less than five seconds and what happens i find more diamonds let's go man oh dude 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 we are rich we are rich 60 diamonds let's go oh also guys i'm thinking about actually starting live streaming on twitch i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it just yet but it would be kind of cool to like stream me mining and just chilling and talking to you guys just hanging out or just doing like really long build dude 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 like i bro like th there's something wrong with this like what happened in the server. It was gone for like four days. I come back. I get so many diamonds, man. This is crazy. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm thinking about actually streaming Craft Night on Twitch. If you guys would like to see that, my Twitch is actually Formula. So it's a link below in the description. Twitch.tv slash Formula. I might just stream me doing long projects, kind of just mining, you know, farming, like building some really big builds, I guess. I'm not too sure. But if you guys are interested in hanging out and watching me stream, please let me know. All right. Because I think that'd be really fun just late at night. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, 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 dude. What is going on? Bro, we almost got two stacks of diamonds, man. We don't even have half a stack of iron yet. And that's what we came here to get. How do you naturally find a lot of iron? Is iron like supposed to be higher up or something? Or in cave systems? Because right now I'm at Y equals 11, I believe. I think I'm way too deep to be finding iron. All right, we got a full inventory. So we're gonna have to whip out the shulker box. We're gonna save all this cobble here. You always wanna bring a shulker box with you in case you wanna save all that cobblestone. Plus you can hold so much more stuff while you're out mining. 
no way, man. There's just no way this is happening to me. Like, I don't even know what to say at this point. I hear lava, so I kind of want to carve this out. Like, bro, like, how is this happening? You know what's actually one thing that I realized that I never found on Craft Night yet is a spawner. I have not seen a single spawner while playing on this game. I think they spawn up a lot higher, but I just find it so weird that I haven't found a single one yet. Like, not even in those abandoned mine shafts where you find, like, those, like, poison spider ones. Like, I haven't even found that. I know Kaz has, like, a zombie spawner, but where are the spawners at? I want to get some CDs. Yikes, I do not know if I should explore this. You know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to put the shulker down. I'm going to put all the valuables in there. That is definitely a 300 IQ idea if you do not want to risk losing all your valuable stuff while you're out mining. All right, it looks like we got ourselves into a cave system finally. We might be able to find a lot more iron in here. I also don't want to lose where I came from because my shulker box has all my valuables in it. Oh, wait. Well, I guess we did not break into a cave system. I do hear zombies above me, but I don't really care too much to explore that. We're just going to keep going with our route because we've been on a lucky hot streak. Oh my gosh, bro. That literally just made me jump out of my chair. Um guys so i'm in my mind right think i just connected into somebody else's mind chef bro what hold up where does this go this has to lead to somebody's base or maybe this is like one of my tunnels or kaylee's tunnels i have no idea bro that is weird i do not remember making a sideways tunnel this far out Oh, let's go, baby. More diamonds. You love to see that. Oh, I can't even pick them up. Um, all right, let's get rid of that. Bro, these noises down here are actually so scary. All right, actually, you know what? Let's see how much iron we have right now because I'm pretty sure we have enough... I don't know. We, looks like we have just a little over two stacks. I might want to, I kind of want to get three stacks. I feel like that's going to be enough for me. But the only thing is I kind of don't have the space for it. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to get rid of some cobble. That's no big deal. All righty. I think we just broke into another cave system. So I'm just going to leave my shulker box full of my valuables back there. That is definitely the safest way to be mining. Like just leave a backpack full of stuff behind in your tunnel. Freely explore the cave as much as you feel like it. Just be careful still because you still got your tools. I think we just ran into this huge cave system. Yeah, this place is massive. Oh, and there's diamonds here and creepers. Don't like creepers. GG's. Yeah, that's one thing about cave systems is that it's really easy to die in one of these. You just never know when a creeper might come behind you and just ruin your day. <gasps> no, no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm getting out of here. I am getting out of here. Get me far away from this place. I think that is a good sign for me to turn away. I almost just died to a creeper. The only thing is I do not know my way back from here. So that might be a big problem. Uh, this is really bad. Oh, please, 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 please get me out of here. Oh, okay. All right. I got to get out of here. I, this is why I do not like exploring cave systems because I always get lost and then I can't find my way back. Where did I come from, man? Did I come from here? All right. I'm seeing torches. I must have been here. Please tell me I'm going the right way. I think we found the right way. Nope, we did not. I know the spot. Hold on. I think I am definitely lost, guys. I do not know my way back. That is very unfortunate. Oh, nope. Never mind. Here we are. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got to get out of here i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna go back we're gonna deposit everything smelt some iron and finish our automatic sheep shearing farm all right let's see how we did here let's put our shulker box down oh yeah so this is everything that we've gotten from our entire mining trip i think i was mining for about like 35 to 45 minutes i'm not too sure but i think we did a pretty good job i mean honestly we, we almost got more diamonds and iron which is honestly really surprising but i can't complain about that got a lot of coal which is really nice we could fill up all of our furnaces again and uh, yeah, let's just start smelting everything. All right, so the last thing we need to do to finish up our sheep shearing farm. I hope I have enough iron for this. I think I have literally just enough for this. All right, let's see. We need to make 15 hoppers. Actually, no, I think we already have a couple. So maybe let's do like, let's make 11 hoppers. We need some minecart. Oh, minecart with hopper. Okay, hold on. We got to make some minecarts. Oh my gosh, I think we have just enough iron for this project. Okay, so... 
I think we should be able to complete this. So we have a bunch of minecarts with hoppers in them. That's all we literally need to do. Actually, wait, hold on. I got to replace this entire floor here, unfortunately, because you can't put redstone on sea lanterns, which is I like, why? I don't understand that. So I got to replace this with normal flooring. Then we just got to add the minecarts with hoppers and we should be good to go. All right, we're just going to replace all the flooring here with smooth stone since I could put redstone on top of it. Uh, let's see here. We just got to get this redstone back here, 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 and here. Okay, perfect. All we need to do is add the minecarts. Why can't you stack minecarts on top of each other? That's kind of weird. Thinking one right there, there, there. Literally on top of every single one of these. And I think we should have a fully functioning sheep shearing farm right now. If I did everything correctly, I think we should be good to go. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see here. Any of you sheep want to get sheared? Come on, please work. Please work. Hopefully mobs do not spawn in here, by the way. I don't even know if this is well lit enough. I need to know if this actually works. Aha, there we go. This guy just got sheared. What about you guys? You guys not want... Oh, I got to add shears into each dispenser. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know if I have enough of this. All right, I think I have enough for just a little bit. Ah, there we go. Yep, it's working. All right, thank goodness. All right, perfect. Seems to be working just fine. All right, now we just need to get these glass panes in here. We're gonna seal this up so no mobs can just walk right through. And, you know, it kind of just makes everything look a little cooler. I'm gonna use clear glass panes because, you know, I wanna be able to see through this. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really cool. I like this. This has to be my favorite farm just because it's so colorful and pretty. I love it. Oh, well, hello there. Didn't know that I hired an Enderman to be my new farmer. That's kind of awkward. I, I still don't know how my villager that was in here died. I just been too lazy to get a new one. This guy's still alive somehow, but yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe he suffocated while he was sleeping or something. I don't know, man. Whatever. I, I'll figure that out eventually. All right, so I think the last thing that I wanted to do now that we got our automatic sheep shearing farm working, we definitely had got to set up a shop next episode. I'm probably gonna have to AFK the sheep shearing farm overnight just so I could stock up the shop next episode. So the last thing that I wanted to do this episode, I actually wanted to redecorate the mine shaft. Now, most people probably don't do this, but I wanted to do it because when I come down mining, I want to come down here and, you know, be super happy and motivated to go down deep into the mines and get a lot of diamonds. And the best way I could think of doing this is literally just making it look a lot cooler and just more attractive. Let's see here. We got five blocks this way, five blocks this way. I think I'm just gonna replace the wall in the tunnels. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna do a nice little time lapse. I'm gonna replace all the walls, the floors, the ceiling. I just want it to look super cool down here. So every time you go mining, you're just in a really good mood because you know, you guys ever hear the expression, you look good. Actually, wait, how does it go? If you look good, you feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how it goes. That's kind of what I want to do with the mine shaft down here. All right. Yeah, I think this is the kind of theme we want to go for with the mine here. So you literally just pick a hallway, go down, have fun, and yeah, get a lot of diamonds. I actually got to get more materials for this though. Oh, that's awkward. This is why I want to redo the mine shaft because mobs always just spawn in here whenever I don't want them to. We're going to do a little time lapse, speed this up. Oh, oh, okay. That was so close. Thought I heard a creeper. Anyway, back to the time lapse. Here we go. All right, there we go. And you know what? I think for lighting, we're just gonna replace the entire ceiling with sea lanterns, cause why not? All right, this should be just about it for the ceiling. But also, if you guys look up a little bit, we are not too far from the very bottom of our base. Like that is literally where the trading hall is, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And this is Y equals 12. So we're almost like maybe like halfway down to the very bottom of the game at our base. I don't know. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. I like this. All right, now we just got to do one more wall, the floors. And then I think this wall and the opposite wall, I'm just going to use them to push as far far back as you want, really. I don't know because this mine is going to be forever expanding. So I think I'm just going to leave these walls as is. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have all of our tunnels. We have the ceiling. Now we just got to finish this off by doing the floor and we should be good to go. All 
All right, we just spiced up our mine shaft. I'm probably the first ever Minecraft YouTuber to ever spice up their mine shaft, but hey, I think it looks really cool down here. I like it. So I guess the only other option I can do right now is literally just push this wall back a ton, push this wall back a ton, only if I need more tunnels to work with, which I probably will have to do very soon. But yeah, guys, I think this is gonna be a really good place for me to end off today's video. We had a really successful mining trip. We finished the automatic sheep shearing farm. We upgraded the mine shaft. A lot got done today. I'm super excited. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Go to that shop for merch. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Tasidanya.